Oh yes, hello viewers. My name is Nathan Matov here at Kisa Projects. Remember, Kisa Projects is the home for entrepreneurs. We are located here in Koma Amboga, Okumukaga, along Gaza Road. Today we are here with another video on how to manufacture high-quality tapa candles. Here are some of the tools you will need for the manufacture of high-quality tapa candles and their prices. Let's proceed by showing you these tools and their prices. Keep watching. Uh, number one, we shall need a candle wick. This is a tapa candle wick. This is size 11. These candle wicks will differ depending on the size of the candle you are targeting to make, as in the diameter of the candle, or how wide your candle, your candle will be. So this is a tapa candle wick, a waxed candle wick. You shall need one. So let's go to equipment number two, or raw material number two. We shall also need lubricating oil. So this is a type of oil we shall use to lubricate our mold, such that, or to prevent our candles from getting stuck into the mold, the mold cavities. We shall also need lubricating, lubricating oil. Number three, we shall also need wax. Which type of wax do we need? You come at our center for training to understand the type of wax and the grade of wax we shall need. So we shall also need need wax for our candle for our, our candle making and wax will be the major raw material or our base raw material in candle in candle production we have all these candle waxes ready and available here at kisa projects you can get different wax depending on the type of candle you are targeting to make remember you have different types of candles we have tapa candles tea light candles votive candles pillar candles so it depends on type of candle you are targeting to make for you to choose a particular type of candle wax you use for your candle production. So we shall use this candle wax for our tapa candle production today here at Kisa Projects. And uh, number next, we shall also need this type of material. I will not mention the name of the material. If you want to understand the name of the material, you come here at Kisa Projects for training. So this will just act as an additive. It will bring in a silicate texture on our candle to prevent our candle skin or our candle surface from being rough. And also it will prevent our candle from highly dripping or from our candle from running off quickly if lightened. Yeah, so we shall need this type of material as well to also help us to produce an opaque white candle. We shall also need a paper cutter. What is the use of a paper cutter in candle making? You will see the use of a paper cutter in candle making as we proceed with our practical session today. Number next, we shall also need tapa candle molds. So these are the tapa candle molds you are going to use here for this video. For serious business, or if you want, if you come here at Kisa Projects to buy tapa candle molds, we shall give you a different type of tapa candle molds, not these very types we are using here. These are meant here for our videos or as a form of advertisement. But we sell different types of tapa candle molds as you are seeing them here. So we shall also need tapa candle molds. We shall also need a digital scale, the one that can measure in one gram increments. Such digital scale like the one you are seeing on your screen goes for Ghana shillings, 70,000. You can buy it here at Kisa, at Kisa Projects. Remember, Kisa Projects is the home for entrepreneurs was located here in Koma Mboga, Okumukaga. Along guys, other than our training people kind of making is gonna change hundred thousand. So my first process will be like this. I get my wax, I shred it into small, small pieces. So this is the wax that I'm going to use. Then after I set my wax into a double boiler, or I put it in the pan of a double boiler and I melt it at 154 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we are going to do. So we get our wax, we take it into the double boiler for it to melt at a melting point of 154 degrees Fahrenheit. So there we have our wax, we leave it to fully get melted at a melting point of 154 degrees Fahrenheit. Note that. Or else, if you want to perfect or to do perfection in your kind of production, visit Kisa Projects for training. Our training fee is going to change 100,000. So as we are waiting the other side for our wax to get melted or to turn into a liquid state, I can proceed by lubricating my mold. All my tubes. So this is my mold. These are the mold that I'm going to use, and this is my lubricating oil. So I spread lubricating oil into into the mold cavities like this. 
So this is my lubricating oil. These are my molds. So I start lubricating one mold at a time. So those are our lubricated molds. Now we can observe that our wax is fully melted, so we add our additive. We add our additives to improve on the quality of our candles. So then we leave them to as well get melted and the solution to turn colorless. So as we are waiting for the additives to get melted and the solution to turn colorless, we can go back to our mold and we insert a candle wick into the mold, into the center of of the mold. So let's proceed by going to our candle mold and inserting wicks in between the candle mold cavities. So these are the lubricated mold. So now these are our candle molds and I have my candle wick here. So I, I start inserting the candle wick into the center of each candle cavity like this So these are our candle molds. Now it is high time we transfer our candle making solution into the candle molds to form candles. You have to make sure that the, the candle wicks are in the center of the candle tubes or the candle mold cavities. So our next part I'm going to bring my melted candle solution then I pour it into this wax, I, I, I pour it into these molds. I give it a duration of 10 minutes for it to solidify. Then I unmold and we shall be showing you ready made tapa candles. So I first pour a bit of the, the solution to the mold, so that the solution can cover the other bottom holes to prevent my solution from spreading outside the mold cavities. Then I come back to fill each mold at a time. Wow, this is really amazing. Remember to be neat in whatever you are doing. Now we are done with making our candles, you can see. The wax is hard enough. Now it is high time I can un now I can unmold. I start by shredding these bottom wicks like this to make it shorter. To make it shorter like that. So I also trim this one as well to make it shorter like this I also trim this I 
also trim this to make it shorter I also trim this to make it shorter it's amazing then I flatten the bottom of my mold this is the bottom it should read like this at the level of the mold cavity make sure you are neat and very smart in whatever you are doing this one as well I use my paper cutter then I last So you can see our beautiful candles, easy at one mold with our classic molds. You can see, oh, well, you can see the bottom of the candle, very easy to unmold because I lubricated using the right lubricating oil. Such qualities you can get them from Kisa projects when you, when you enroll for our trainings. I'm not using a China made machine. I'm just improvising a machine here at Kisa Projects. We are the Kisa Projects Home for Entrepreneurs. Learn to do these things right from your home, targeting profits from them. So I also unmold this. It can be unmolded easily. You don't need to use force. And our candle is very, very smooth because I use the right, the right ingredients and white in color. When we say start up, start up, start up, start up, start small, dream big. I'm not a musician, but I can forge a voice of singing. So these are our four tapa candles. I can sell each candle at just a few of garnishings, 500. So I've just made 2,000. So I've just made 2,000 in just 6 minutes. So join Kisa Projects for training. Our training fees, garnishings, 100,000. Don't you like this? Just from manufacturing this, it is hard enough. It is strong. Pure white. Very smooth. We have just used simple, simple machines, simple molds. So you need such quality trainings. Join Kisa Projects for training. We don't just speak, we act. I have just manufactured this live on a video recording with you watching. These are four tapa candle molds. I have just manufactured them in just six minutes. Join Kisa Projects for training on how to manufacture such high quality 
candles. Our training fee is 100,000. It is a single day duration training class for four hours. After training, you help you in quite a control and assurance of your product. We help you in branding and packaging, and we as well give you a continuous follow up until you succeed in your production. We are the Kisa Projects, a home for entrepreneurs. We are located here in Koma Amboga, Okumokaga, along Gayaza Road. Start up, start small, dream big, start up with Kisa Projects. Until like this, I can sell each candle at a fee of garnishing to 500. When I package it in a nice packaging, you can think that it was imported from Dubai or any other first world country. Yet I just manufactured them using a small unit here at our center. Thank you for loving Kisa Projects. Thank you for being part of this wonderful home. We are home for entrepreneurs. See you here at our center for training. Bye-bye.